Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to the lecture series that I am going to start today here. And the topic that I am going to discuss is the 11th class topic and that topic is from chapter kinematics. So dear students here the chapter that I am going to take is here kinematics. And topic that today I am going to discuss here is related to distance and displacement. We have already read that we have already dealt with the kinematics. That kinematics is that branch of physics which deals with the steady of motion of material objects without taking into account of cause of motion. And dear students, we know that cause of motion is force. So we don't have to deal here with the force and that will be discussed in the next topic and that next topic is Newton's laws of motion. And we know that Newton's first law gives the definition of force and second law gives the measurement and magnitude of force and my dear students third law gives the nature and origin of the force. So we don't have to discuss here force here in kinematics that is this kinematics is revolving around the five fundamental quantities and five main quantities we cannot see fundamental we can see main quantities and among these are two fundamental most fundamental here are distance and displacement the five quantities that around which the kinematics is revolving and these five quantities are distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration the whole topic of whole chapter of this kinematics is based on these five physical quantities and I will discuss these physical quantities one by one inshallah but today that I am going to start here is about distance and displacement so I am coming to my point and that point is distance and displacement now see dear students so I am writing here the word The first thing that I am going to discuss here is distance and I am writing on the other side displacement. So here dear students I am writing here distance and in taking a line here and writing here displacement. See dear students what is distance? Distance is the actual part. I will take here like this I am considering two points. To explain distance, I am taking here point A and dear students, I am taking here point B. Suppose a body starts from point A and goes along this path. Let this path is L1. Let's for the sake of convenience, I am taking this L1 to be as 8 meter. Suppose the body is starting from point A and goes along this path, path length that is L1. Let's take it to be as 8 meter. When the body goes along this line, then at that time, this is distance. So what is distance, dear students? The distance is the actual path length traveled by a body between two points, but in a given interval of time, because it has taken some time to go from A to B. As we know, that time factor is very, very important in kinematics. Now let us take the another case. If the body goes along this, that is straight path, from point A to point B along the length L2, let's take it to be as 5 meter, let's suppose. Then at that time, in the second case, the path length between points A and B is 5 meters. So at that time, it is the distance in the second case. So distance is, what is distance? It is the actual path length traveled by a body between two points in a given interval of time. So I hope that you have got this. If let us take another path here, if the body goes from this path that is from A to C to this point, then from C to B along this path, suppose it covers from A to C 3 meters and then from C to B 4 meter. Let us take for sake of convenience and let this path length from A to B along that is let us take this to be as L3 path is 3 plus 4 meter. That is L3 is 3 meter plus 4 meter and that comes out to be a 7 meter. So what is the path length in the third case? That is this. So I am simply writing here distance is nothing but it is the actual path length. It is the actual path length. First point please note this and write down this point. 
दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर ये स्टूडेंट्स लिखते जाएगा और ये बहुत अच्छा है आपके लिए अगर आप ये लिखेंगे बेटा ये अच्छी बात है तो ये क्या लिखा है मैंने यहाँ पॉथ ने हेयर वट इज डिसमेंट इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट पॉथ इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट पॉथ हेयर आई एम राइटिंग दिस एज पॉइंट वन हेयर पॉइंट वन इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट पॉथ it is the shortest path among these three paths which path is the shortest that is l to path is the shortest because along this the length is 5 meter but direction here is from a to b so it is the shortest path here shortest path is the path length l to between two points between two points in a given interval of time because time factor is very important in a given interval of time Now second thing here among this is shortest path. Whether the body has traveled through this path or not, but it must be kept in mind. It must be keep in mind that shortest path is always displacement between two pointers. If the body has traveled through this path, that is okay. If it does not have traveled through this path, and that is also okay, no problem here. But shortest path is that is displacement. Now the second thing here there is it is a scalar that means it's a scalar quantity and it is a it is a vector quantity this is the main difference between distance and displacement because we know here that scalars are added they are these are subtracted uh, or these are multiplied by using simple laws of algebra just like when we add real numbers how we add real numbers how we multiply them same is the case with the scalars there is no problem here at all but the problem that arises there here for the students is vector so one must have a strong concept one must know the concept of vectors and once he one of the student has gone through the concept of vector and then after that it is very easy for him to discuss here displacement because displacement is a vector or a vector quantity because displacement can be added displacement can be subtracted by vector laws of L by vector laws and these laws are triangle law of vector addition or parallelogram law of vector addition similarly these can be multiplied or these can be we can say subtracted we can use here vector laws suppose dot product of vectors cross product of vectors and this will be very helpful when we deal with the displacement so i think you have got this point so this very important here these are scalar is a uh, displaced distance is a scalar rather and is a vector now third point here displacement is also known as change in position it is also defined as change in position of a body between two points in a given interval of time change in position change in position means change in position vector change in position vector that is very important here to discuss the concept of displacement see my dear if i am taking this as x axis and here i am taking this as to be as y axis and no need to take z axis later on we will discuss we will take z axis but it is sufficient for me to discuss here the concept of change in position and change in position or change in position vectors gives me the displacement but when this change in position takes place in a given interval of time see my dear students let us take a coordinate system x and y this is here origin and origin is that point where we take observations origin does not mean where the body has started maybe the motion has already started before this point but origin must be kept in mind it is the point where we take observations let us i am taking here a point a and here i am taking a point b let the let we displace a body along this straight path that is from point a to point b then this path length the length of this vector is at that time the magnitude of displacement because it is the shortest path and the direction from a to b gives the direction of displacement now we have to find that this displacement is equal to change in position or change in position vector so for this 
इसके लिए बेटा क्या करूंगा आई विल ज्वाइन हियर दिस पॉइंट ए टू द ओरिजिन एंड दैट माय डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज द पोजीशन वेक्टर फॉर पॉइंट ए विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ओरिजिन एंड व्हेन आई एम गोइंग टू ज्वाइन पॉइंट बी टू द ओरिजिन देन दिस इज ऑल टू दैट इज पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑफ पॉइंट बी नाउ इट इज क्लियर इन ट्रायंगल ए ओ बी डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज क्लियर दैट दिस vector and this vector are in the same order but this vector is in opposite order and we know that in a triangle when two vectors are in the same order but then these can be when two vectors are represented by two sides of a triangle in the same order then they are resultant their sum is equal to the third side of a triangle but taken in opposite order so i am simply writing here o a vector plus a b vector because they are in same order that is equal to o b because o b vector is in opposite order is in opposite order i have to find here ab because displacement ab here is displacement or displacement vector so ab is equal to ob vector and i am taking this on this side and that is oa vector but ob vector is equal to oa vector and oa vector is equal to oa vector therefore displacement vector comes out to be as change in position that is final position minus initial position Hope you have got this. That displacement is a is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude as well as direction. But it can be represented here as change in position vectors. That is very very important. And I will here explain this by taking a simple numerical here that will illustrate the concept of that will explain the concept here the concept of displacement. See my dear. If I am taking the coordinates of these two and three and coordinates of this to be as three and Two. Then, if if here like this, if this is this, and then find find a b, find a b that is a b vector. It is it has both magnitude and as well as direction, and also find the direction of a b vector. Question here. <coughs> See my dear, it is now clear. Now a b is equal to solution for this very mm, simple numerical here. Which will clearly explain here what concept of how displacement is equal to the change in position or change in position vector. See my dear, it is clear now. This O A has coordinates. This A point has coordinates two and three. That means A is the point A is at a distance of two along x axis, and this point A is three from origin, but along what axis? Y axis. So I can simply write this O A vector to be as O A vector can be written as it can be written two i because two is the magnitude of component of O along x axis and three is the component of A O A vector but along y axis I am writing here as three g and similarly I can write O B to be as O B vector to be as because it has it is just like this I am taking perpendicular here so here it is three. And this is here. It is two, but this three can be this when we take. Let us take this to be as O C. This O C is then it is a vector, and that vector has magnitude three, but direction is along x axis. And I am taking here I to be as along x axis. And here this C B is along that is y axis. I can take here two, but I can multiply it by G K because this is the direction. So I can write here this O B vector by triangle law. This plus this simply it can be written as three i plus two g. Three i is the component of O B along x axis and two g is the component of this O B but along y axis. Here this three is the magnitude along x axis, two is the magnitude along y axis. But when we multiply a magnitude with a direction, that gives a vector. Now what is AB? It is AB is now simple. It is initial. It is final position vector minus initial position vector. That is OB vector minus OA vector. See my dear students. Now OB vector is equal to R two vector minus R one vector. I know this R two vector is equal to two I plus three G. Two I cap plus three G cap minus. It is equal to OB. That OB is equal to three I plus two G cap. Now see my dear, it is clear now. Two I cap plus three J cap. But when we multiply this by minus, this comes out to be minus three I cap, 
and minus into plus means minus 2g cap. Now see here, now AB vector that is displacement or displacement of vector is equal to 2i minus 3i means minus i cap and 3g cap minus 2g cap minus plus g cap. So this is the displacement, so it has direction, that is it has component uh, minus i along x-axis but plus 1 along j-axis. So I can represent this vector like this. This is x-axis and there is, this is y-axis. This is x-axis, negative axis, here negative, here positive, here positive upwards. And here negative downwards, right to be as positive, left to be as negative, and this is origin. So this minus i minus, it is like this here. The coordinates of this are 1 and 1 here. And this is the vector that is this AB vector here. Now magnitude of AB vector is, the magnitude of AB is here like this. I, this I. It is coefficient that is minus 1 square plus here that is this coefficient that is plus 1 square. And that comes out to be a, this magnitude of AB that is equal to 1 square that is 1 plus 1 that is equal to under root 2. Hope you have got this point that is very very important. Clear now to you dear students and I hope that you have got this point. Inshallah, I will meet you next time. Till then, keep me Allah bless you. Have a nice day ahead. Good luck to you people. Wishing you all the best of luck.